Hey everyone, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and I wanted to come to you today with um, a little bit of business advice. I know I kind of keep this page like fitness and business, but I wanted to come to you today because, um, you know, I noticed definitely a pattern um, with the successful people on my team and the people that um, tend to struggle a little bit more and, you know, really get their business going. So um, I asked the question, you know, are you a starter, stopper, starter? And you're probably like, what the heck does that mean? So are you someone that starts something and then something gets in the way because that's life, right? The truth is none of us have time. We all make time. Like when people say to me, oh, I just don't have time. I don't have time either. No one has like extra time sitting around, right? That's the reality of real life. Like we're all busy. Um, and busy is not a badge of honor. Like people are always like, oh, I'm so busy. And they think that that makes them like feel more important and validated and all that stuff. It's, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. Like it's, it's not, doesn't mean you're amazing because you're busy. We're all busy. So what happens is people get started, you know, in this business or even on their health and fitness journey and they, they do it for a couple months or whatever and then they just stop. Why? I don't know. Something happens. Something gets in the way. Um, I get that. Like real life always happens to people. There's always going to be something and there's never a good time. That's just the reality, you know? And then, you know, they decide, oh, I shouldn't have let that happen. And they start again. And not only when you do that, do you have to like restart for yourself, but you also have to restart for your audience. Because I can guarantee you when you decided to start this business or this fitness journey, your audience is probably skeptical. They were like, oh, this is just another fad. Like he or she won't last doing this um, because, you know, who knows what they're going to end up doing with it. And I'm sure that it's just going to be short lived. So when you stop or when you take a break or whatever you want to call it, when you left, let life get in the way, you are confirming what your audience thought, right? Which is that it was just a fad, it was just a little thing that he or she was doing, and it's not gonna continue. And because we're health and fitness coaches and we don't just sell products, we actually support people on their journeys, the, the, our audience wants to know that we're gonna continue to be there for them. So when we stop, they're like, oh, well, he or she just ditched me. Like I'm on my own now because I don't have the support of my coach because he or she is not working the business or not showing up every day in our private accountability groups or whatever. So it's really, really, really hard for people to build a long-term sustainable business if they're the starter, stopper, starter kind and everything that happens sort of gets in the way of their journey. And you, if you don't quit, you don't fail. I'm not saying that like anyone that does this is a failure by any means. What I'm saying is they're making their job so much harder than just being accountable and showing up every day. Honestly, I work my business in an hour or two a day. I earn a secondary full-time income. And I will tell you that we do not guarantee any level of income. Um, but I earn a secondary full-time income um, doing this while I work a full-time job at a Fortune 10 company. This isn't my full-time job because I'm consistent, not because I have so much extra time, not because I'm not busy, um, not any of those reasons. I'm just consistent. I just show up every single day and my customers and my team knows that I'm going to be there every single day, right? When my customers decide to join me, they know that I'm going to help them and that I'm going to answer their questions and that I'm going to show up every single day in our accountability group with them to help them and encourage them and, and inspire them to go there, do their workout, to drink their superfoods, to stay on their meal plan, right? That is what we have to do. So I encourage you, if you've done this starter, stopper, starter thing a couple times and you're feeling like, man, my business is going nowhere, think about that. Think about if you've done that, that cycle because I guarantee 
that's why your business is going nowhere because you have to reprove yourself to your audience every single time. You not only have to like pick yourself back up and start that work all over, but you also have to reprove to your audience that you're serious about this and that this isn't a fad and that this is a long-term business and solution for you. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I know it's a little bit of tough love, but it's really something that I've noticed. Um, and like I said, it's not about who has the most time um, or is the smartest or knows the most about social media. I truly believe that this business is purely, purely, purely about consistency. And um, the same with your health and fitness journey, right? Like, you know, if we aren't consistent with our workouts and our clean eating and our superfoods, how can we expect our customers to be consistent with that? So um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of share my heart with you guys because that is like the best tip that I can give you. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always open um, and we will chat soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.